everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We're taking a look at a big fifth wheel that has one of the most unique bunk rooms. This is a 2021 Grand Design Solitude Model 3550BH. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first and the inside features then. We're gonna give you three things we love about the Grand Design and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's and Will's RV Reviews Tobles. It's the world's only channel that gives you three things we love and three things we don't love about every travel trailer, fifth wheel, and toy hauler that we review. And again today, I'm super excited to be taking a look at a very big, but very unique bunkhouse style fifth wheel from Grand Design. But before I begin, I would like to say hi to Will. How the wheel? Hey guys. How's it going, partner? It's going good. I'm excited to show everybody this as well. It's nice because Bunkhouse fifth wheels tend to take up a lot of the fifth wheel space. Yep. And I don't feel like this one does that as much. So. Well, it's very unique. And, yep. and we've seen this style before, but in mid pros, we haven't yep, seen it. Yep, exactly. In the pro. So uh, let's begin, Will. All right. Model is Grand Design Solitude S Class. So it's the step down from the Solitude 3350. But the actual tip to tip length of this fifth wheel is 39 feet 9 inches. The dry weight is. Well, we don't have a dry weight, but it is going to be around 13,000, 14,000 pounds. But the gross weight is 16,800 pounds. And will that pin weight? 2,682 pounds. Perfect. Always remember, one, before you buy this, make sure you check with General RV about the uh, weight. And it's not necessarily about the weight, it's about that pin weight as well. Right up front here, we have a nice, beautiful painted fiberglass front cap. Well, is that a windshield there? Sure is. Okay, nice windshield with LED lights. We got a little bug action going on right there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Did this one come from Florida? Because they look like love bugs. <laughs> they yeah. do. Right here, we got LED lights. We do have a lipper component pin box right here. Generic pin box. Nothing fancy, not a problem. Again, this is S-Class. So they're trying to save money as much as they can. Underneath here, here's what's unique. This is storage, and it has the cutouts. That means it's prepped for a generator. Very interesting. Yeah. Coming on down the side here. Propane here. You do have six point electric leveling, not hydraulic leveling. Again, S class. You know what S stands for in S class? <laughs> no, it stands for save money. Well, it stands for save oh, okay. money. You gotta I'm cut that out. I'm not cutting that out, buddy. You said that, not me. <laughs> Right here, we do have nice storage right here. A uh, very nice uh, <laughs> cable and satellite right here, motion light and tire link. Now, here's what I will do. I will mute Will with what he said, but you guys could guess what he said. <laughs> and it's not true, because let me tell you something. Oh no, I'm Dollar for kidding. dollar, we're making jokes. Dollar for dollar, I actually like these better than the regular solitudes. Yeah, I would agree. Right here, we do have a nice spray port here, and then check out this feature. This seems like a little feature, but it's actually a big deal. I've been noticing a lot of grand designs do that little piece of crap plastic part where this one is like with the magnet, magnet you know, yeah. very nice. Not frameless windows, you do have the regular windows, but look at this, nice two power awnings with LED lights. Well, I'm putting them out. All right. big power awnings with LED lights right there. Very nice. And I love the double awning. We do, oh snap, we have the Morai step above steps still with the hydraulic assist. Didn't expect that on the S-Class. Very nice. Does have the WeatherTech package, three year structural warranty, fully laminated walls and everything. Coming on down the side here, we do got speakers right there. And then look at these tires, Will, they're the Work Coopers, I love those. 215-75R17.5. And you have your Moride CRE 3000 suspension right there. Very nice. And they all are equipped, yes, equipped with the tire pressure monitoring system. Already installed, I love that. Coming on down the side here, 
we do have a nice little outside kitchen, right? Little uh, little fridge right there. Little uh, top with a suburban cooktop right there. Nice, small, you know, not big, not huge. Basic. Love the slam last doors though. Coming around the back, whoa, check that out. Did you look at that? Yeah, nice. You get really good storage back here in the rear. 3,000 pound hitch with a four pin connector. So technically you can tow behind this fifth wheel. We don't recommend that. Don't tow behind a fifth wheel. It is prepped for a fear around backup camera and you can buy one using our link down below. And we have a one piece TPO roof. Will, let's go up there and take a look. All right. This one seems a little tall as well. Yeah, a little bit. I think I got this one. High kick. There we go now. You sure you got it? Yes. Sir, I'm an American. I got this. <laughs> Up here on the roof, you can see it's a nice one piece, fully walkable roof. Not one, but two air conditioning units. I love that. Right there, you have a max air fan. And there you have your Wine Guard 360 digital antenna. There's a lot of weight on this ladder. Yeah, no kidding. Wow, chicken tenders. Oh, great. And if you haven't already, make sure you smash that thumbs up button. What are the RV salesman taking his fat ass up on the roof? Showing you what features the roof has to offer. Nobody. Nobody. <laughs> With the driver's side. It's unique how nothing's under there. Yeah. Okay. Right here. It's where you dump your black and gray tank. That's a nice place for you to store your sewer hose. 50 amp unit. Water heater's right here. Okay. And then Grand Design does a good job with this as well. Here's your water system. Black tank flush. Potable water fill. Potable. Potable. Outdoor shower. Uh, valve saw enclosed and more storage all over there and then finishing up got a little bit more propane right there well well the outside of the solitude looks great but the inside looks even better let's go take a look all right Go up first. Okay. Thank you, sir. All right, starting up front. We've got the bedroom up here. Yes. The bathroom right here. Mm -hmm. And then coming down, we have the kitchen here, the dining area, the living area in the back, and then all the way in the back, this is what is so cool about it, is these bunk beds. Well, Will, we got two big awnings coming in. Okay. And it looks like our jump box is dying. Uh-oh. But while the awning's coming in, we want to take a second to thank our sponsor, My Waggle. This is for all my pet owners out there, if you love your pets, if you bring them camping with you. My Waggle is an RV pet digital thermostat monitor, and it monitors humidity. Oops monitors humidity, temperature, and power. So if you bring your pet camping with you, okay, and you leave them in the RV, if you lose power, it will send you a text. If it gets too hot or cold to a certain threshold, it will send you a text. Or if it gets too humid, it will send you a text. The best part about what I'm saying is it's not doing it through the app, which would send you a notification via Wi-Fi, because if you lose power, you don't have Wi-Fi, but it will notify you notify you using the Verizon system. So, if you are an RVer and you bring your pets camping with you, protect your pets and get a My Waggle. What, what, what do we do down below? We'll turn it in selfie mode. We have a link down in the description below. Um, check that out and click on that link if you're interested in purchasing because we did negotiate the best deal in America on them. Yep. For you guys. We did the work so you guys don't have to. That's right. Perfect. Nice. Took a while to get those awnings in, but that's what happens when you have big, big awnings. Well, back here, 
Okay, so this is the unique part. This is the bunk room, you know? Okay. Again, we've seen this in the reflection. We've seen this in the smaller ones. But to get this one in a full profile is very unique. Yep. Very big beds. Really good for adults, really. Yeah. You know, like... It's not like, bad. You know, I might even take this out, you know? And then you have a, a nice place, a little in-law suite or whatever. You got your lights there, windows and windows. Very nice. Show that storage right there. Okay. A little bit of storage space down here. Yep. For all the clothes and everything. And then right there is like a coat hanger or whatever. Yep. And let's see if it's ducted through with the AC. It sure is. Okay, it better be. And TV backer right there. Okay, okay. And then you have a little pocket door right here. Yep. And then, you know, it's just a very small room, but what it does is it, this is only 10%. Right. You know, um, we'll talk about what you could do with it in a little bit, but it opens up the rest of the fifth wheel. So it's not a bunkhouse fifth wheel. It's more like a rear living room fifth wheel. Yep. Right here, we have a nice sofa. This is going to try fold out. Will, look at that sweat. Yeah. I can't believe I'm about to do this. It's a little warm. Yeah. But you know why I'm pulling this out? Even though it's hot and sweaty? Because it's America. Because it's America. <laughs> and that's what we can do. We can make sofas into bed. Into beds. I'd imagine that a lot of countries can. Right there, you know. Very nice, very nice. Trifold. Good for taller guests, adult sized guests. Yep. <sighs> No, all jokes aside, we're doing it because we're trying to make better reviews for you guys. Right. So leave down in the comments below. Let us know if you appreciate you showing us. You appreciate us showing you that. More storage. Great, huh? Yep. Yeah. Very nice. Nice little mirror right there. Good size windows. And then right here we have our electric theater seats. Thomas Paine collection. And then look at this nice floor. Yeah, that no is nice. No carpet, huh? No carpet, flush slide. Now this is an electric recliner that has a light, cell phone charger, heat, massage, not really massage, and then uh, it reclines. Nice. I hate how they say massage, because let me tell you guys something, it's not a massage. It's like sitting on a cell phone that keeps ringing. Yeah. And bleh, bleh, you know. But, I do like the recline feature. I do like the cell phone charging feature, and I do like that it is directly across from this entertainment center. And look how they're able to structure this. Because they did it this way, you actually have a window right there and the window right there, which is a pretty nice feature. That is cool, actually. Nice storage above, okay. Uh, oh, your uh, player and everything. It's kind of unique, like who's gonna charge a cell phone up there? Yeah. Uh, you have a very nice big TCL TV and a fireplace right there, Greystone. What's nice is that fireplace does produce heat from electricity. That's right. Oh, and then look at that right under there. Yeah, a little bit of storage. Yeah, a little shoe holder. That's actually, I brought my cat camping with me. That's where, that's where he would be. And then over here we have a dinette, okay? Table and chairs, dinette, you know, pretty simple, not the biggest, not the smallest. It's not getting any strikes. It's not getting any check marks. You right. Know? It's just your normal traditional dinette. Again, I like how there's no carpet. And then you do have these M, uh, these uh, slow rise privacy shades. Nice. Ring, ring. Oh, hang on, Will. I gotta take the phone call. Um, hello. Do I know what time it is? Will. It's, it's now time, time for the, the MSRP. MSRP. Burr, 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 burr. I got everyone, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> MS MSRP on this fifth wheel here is... $86,090 MSRP. Sale price, Will, can you see the sale price right there? I cannot. You know why? Yep. It's a 2021 model year and... Grand Design does not allow us to advertise sale price. But Will, we sell so many Grand Designs around the country that I know we will be able to get everybody a fantastic, phenomenal price. If somebody's interested in getting the best price in America, Will, tell everybody what to do. They can call, they can text, they can email, they can FaceTime. Hey, 301-906-0962. That is my personal cell or matsrvreviews at gmail.com. 
send me an email. Or the best thing to do is go to mattsrvreviews.com. There you'll see three contact tabs. If you're ready to buy this RV or any RV, click tab number one. That takes you to General RV, and a member from my team will get you the best price in America. If you have questions about this RV, perfect. Click tab number two. That sends an email to both Will and myself, and we're there responding to you within 24 to 48 hours to make sure we're answering all your questions. Or if it's just a generalized fan question, click that third tab. And Will, it doesn't matter if it's tab three, two, or one. There's one thing that every tab will always have in common. They're going to get the best price in America. <laughs> will, let's continue the video. All right. All right, we'll start over here in the kitchen. Okay. Got nice uh, cabinet space all around. For sure. A nice Furion convection microwave right there. Yep. I like this window here. Big and nice. Yeah, nice big letting in lots of natural light. A little bit of counter space next to the oven. Some storage down below or next to the stove. And you do have a three, oh, it's taped. Three okay. burner Furion. Uh, Gas cooktop with blue lights and oven right there. Very nice. And some storage down below. Okay. Then over here, you got a nice two-way Norcold refrigerator and freezer. So this works off of both gas or electric. Okay, okay. Then right here, we got a nice big pantry. Huge. I hope there's a light in there. Good for all your food. That's right. And over here, got some storage up top. Okay. Nice backsplash. I like that they're doing this. It feels like real tile. Looks that like looks it. like real tile, yeah. Yep. Um, plug underneath and USB right there. So this would make like a nice coffee bar. Yep. Not, a, not a taco bar. Well, no, maybe like an air fryer. Yeah. And some storage down below. But yeah, no, I mean, it's not big enough for a taco bar, but it's definitely no usable space. Then here you have this wow. nice, huge kitchen island right Very here. Very nice. Nice spray faucet here. Okay. Two bowl sink. Let's you sure? Things up. Yep. Yep. Just lift it up right there. Yeah, that's true. Right there, two bowl sink. Residential uh, faucet as well. Yeah. All solid surface countertops throughout. Mm. And I like it's like a little bit thicker. Um, and solid surface inserts as well. Got some store, some drawers here. You got power here as well, and here. Mm -hmm. Got some uh, storage. Yep. Oh, that's a hundred and four dollar trash can. That's right. Very nice. And a couple more drawers right here. Yes. There you go. Very nice. Something else that I like, I like those art fixtures. Will, those art fixtures are very art deco. No. Oh, we haven't done art deco in a long no, time. There's not as much in trailers, mm. you mm -hmm. know. Not as and much I like that uh, big light fixture Yeah, as well. that is nice. It's now time for the tall test, Will. Okay. Get on up there. I have faith in this one. Oh, you shouldn't have said that, because no, now you probably it. jinxed it. That nice window. Good. We're good. Oh, oh gosh. We're good. Will. This is very nice. Nice and big. Give me the seal of approval. Bing. That's the uh, Will shower test seal of approval. That's right. Nice and big. One piece surround. Mm. Plenty of height, width, depth, everything. Man, you cannot beat that. Actually, this bathroom in general is nice and big. Okay, this is very weird how this is like opening to that. Yeah. Uh, that might not be a prime pooping position, but we will find out in a second. Tons of medicine cabinets for all your medicine. This sink part is actually on the slide out. Oh, you're right. Yes. Big, 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 big countertop there. Storage and a drawer. Cool. It's now time for the toilet test. This is a huge bathroom. Uh-oh. Porcelain. For me, this is a prime poop position. Bing! Well, you see that? Yeah. It's good for me. I want you to sit down. Okay. I see what you mean. Is it hitting you? Yeah. Okay. So, so if you're has nothing to do with how wide we are, 
it's all about that upper torso area. Right. If you have a longer torso, you, you're definitely going to be hitting that. It was still prime poop position for me because I don't have that long torso. Didn't get the double though. Storage there. Drawer. That right there. More storage, tons of storage. Okay, and this is what I really like. Look at this. Um, I will actually comment on this in a second. Okay. Oh, we got that right there, and then show that other side. Okay. Right there. Yep. And right there. Then you have power and USB on both sides. Oh, let's hit these lights. Yep. And then, again, that's a front windshield. You do have a TV right here. And then, wow, huge storage in the bedroom. Right. Very nice. It will. Yeah. As nice as it is and as great as it is, it's now time we give everybody three things we love about this fifth wheel and three things we don't like about it. Will, what do we do first? Three things we love, three things we dislike. Only because we're in here. Okay. So something that I, well, I'm going to be all over the place. I think this is one of the... This is one of those units, like every love is my dislike as yes. well. Yeah, that's how mine that? was too, yeah. So yeah, you know what? We're gonna freaking mix it up. Okay. Uh it we're gonna give we're gonna mix up the likes and the dislikes. Okay. One thing I love about this unit, I love how big and open this is. Uh-huh. It's open, you're not gonna smack your head. It makes it makes this small bedroom feel so open. It does, yeah. Now a dislike. I don't like, there's practically little to no storage. Yep. You know, there is normally a ton of storage around to the side of the bed. Yeah. Because of that feature, you lose almost all of it. Right. Love it or dislike. You ready for my number two? Sure. Over in here. I love the size of this bathroom. This is almost perfect. The only thing that's not perfect is this right here, this yeah. handle. I would completely change this or... I would have put the toilet right there. Yeah, I was thinking that too. Yep, yep. What about you, Will? Do you have anything? In here? Just next. Yep, mine's down in the living area. Okay, so kitchen and living area, I should say. Um, I love this nice big island. Okay, very this, big and beautiful. Yeah, at the same time, it's almost overkill. And then when you're sitting here, it's like, you know. In your way? It's, it's kind of in your way. Kind of, kind of not, but you can definitely see it. Yeah, you can definitely see it, and it almost makes it feel like the kitchen is coming into the, like, your living area, hangout area. Okay, okay. You know? I'm going to combo one last thing. Okay. We're going we're gonna to do a fourth or whatever. Um, again, I'm going to kind of contradict that and love that. I do love this type of entertainment center. Uh -huh. I do love this because... 90% of the art, this RVs are rear living and yes. you do have this little bunk room yep. that can convert into storage and it can convert into a closet. Right. But at the same time, if this is primarily, if this is 100% a bunk room at all times, I hate this room. Right. If you're going to do a bunk room, do a freaking bunk room. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But this is more of There's a, no hangout space. It's like... Right. This is more for a bunk room. This is more for... Anybody can buy this. I don't oh, give yeah. a crap. You can have 10 kids and buy this. I don't care. But what I'm saying, what I'm trying to say is this is for the person who has grandkids that sometimes come exactly. with them. Exactly. You know, or maybe dog crates, or maybe they have a lot of crap and uh, they want to use this for storage or whatever. Yep, I would agree. So, that was great. That was so unique. It looks like everything we were doing was yeah. positive and negative. Well, well, that's it. That's the review. Thank you guys, absolutely everybody, so much for watching. If you guys have any questions about this fifth wheel, please, again, call, text, send us an email. It is mattsrvreviews at gmail.com or 301-906-0962. That is my personal cell number. Or the best thing to do is to go to mattsrvreviews.com. And again, just click one of those contact tabs, whatever one works best for you. If you're in the market for a fifth wheel with bunk beds, in a few seconds, we're going to put its competitors right there and there. Will, is there anything you'd like to say? Of course. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. Again, make sure to check out in our description below the link for My Waggle. Yes. If you are traveling with pets, it's very, very important. Uh -huh. um, also, make sure to leave in the comments below. Let us know if you, if, um, you agree or disagree with our likes and dislikes, and let us know of yours in the comments below. Make sure to smash the thumbs up button and subscribe. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching, and we'll, we'll see you next time.